Hey guys, welcome to Wikity Crypto. Today I'm going to show you how to update Ledger Nano S firmware 1.4.1. Before you do that, make sure you have your 24 recovery phrase. Just in case something happens, you can restore your wallet in another device. Also, uh, the reason for the update is because of the security uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, although they say that um, the vulnerabilities are serious but not critical, but they, uh, the ledger did not tell us the technical details, uh, what is involved. So it's better to update your ledger. Another thing, you can add additional coins. Uh, you can go up to 18 coins uh, in the ledger, they said, with the update. Uh, currently, we only have three or four coins, and then your device is already full. But after the update, you can go up to 18 coins. But if you go to Reddit, they talk about... So if you go to Reddit, they talk about... Uh, how many coins you can have so technically you can have probably 10 to 12 uh, I finished an update on another another ledger I can go up to 10 uh, I think I can go up to 12 and that's it so depending on the apps that you're going to install because uh, many cryptocurrency are cones of the Bitcoin blockchain and therefore share most of the signature code uh, for example Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, Litecoin Dash, Ccash, Komodo, Stratus, Pivx, um, Vertcoin, Digibyte, Quantum, those will be uh, share the less space. They will they will not occupy that many space because of the um, clones of the Bitcoin blockchain. But if you have entirely different blockchain with a different code base, for example, Ethereum, Ripple, Neo, Bitcoin, they are in different um, code base, then it may limit your applications four to five apps. So it really depending on what uh, apps you're going to install. And also they talk about that uh, after you have more than 10 apps, the device will freeze for a few seconds after you enter the pin. This is still to, uh, they have to sort the apps to display. So uh, this is obviously a bug, right? So there's a temporary fix you can do is to remove all the apps and install them in a uh, alphabetic uh, order and uh, in the future they will have a firmware update will address these uh, issues so let's get into the detail how you can in, uh, update the firmware so as I said earlier be sure you have your 24 recovery phrase just in case something happened you can go to your uh, ledger uh, the nano to see what firmware version you have you can go to settings device and firmware and then you can find out the version if your version is less than 1.3 then all the things will be wiped out and then you have to use your 24 recovery phrase to recover your wallet after you have upgraded to 1.4.0 so make sure you check the version and um, before your update also, uh, even though you remove those apps, those coins from your ledger, your coins are safe because your coin are recorded in the blockchain. It's not recorded in the device, right? So uh, make sure you follow the instruction, read the instruction very carefully before you do the installation. I think in Reddit, some user uh, encountered some problem after the update, the ledger is not usable. So just be uh, very careful how you uh, proceed with this update. So right now, uh, you can go to uh, the first process is make sure uh, you have you go to the apps and then install the ledger manager if you don't have it. So, so you go to ledger manager and then install. This will be in Chrome. So make sure you use the Chrome browser so you can add this application on your Chrome browser. So I already did that. Um, so the first step, so here they're telling you a new firmware is available, so you need to be updated. The first step is I will remove all the apps in here. So remember, you're removing the apps, you're not removing the coin. So your coin is, I mean, the coin is recorded in a blockchain, so it doesn't affect that. But uh, if your firmware is less than 1.3, then all this thing will be wiped out. So you have to recover your wallet with a 24, uh, 24 
recovery phase. If your version is 1.3, um, based on the instruction, uh, they're telling us that there will no impact on on your, it will not wipe out your 24 recovery phrase. You can still use the same 24 recovery phrase um, and also uh, use the same, same password to access your ledger, uh, the nano. So let's go ahead and do the update. So the first thing I want to do is to delete all these apps because uh, I don't want to be, because these apps, uh, after the update, you have to reinstall those apps anyway. So this is not usable. And plus, I don't want to have problem, for example, in sufficient space uh, when I am uh, doing the update. So I think this is crucial that uh, you remove everything before you start the update and to avoid any further problem in the process so uh, i'm right now i will start removing all this app right now so it will take a while so so i just remove uh, the bitcoin and then uh bitcoin cash and remove that and then i will remove ethereum everything so just uh after you remove everything, it will say um, you can go to a ledger and then it will just have settings. If you go to uh, the nano, the device, it will just say settings. That means you remove everything. So, unable to install application. I'm not installing, I'm trying to remove it. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's cancel. Continue. Uh, I guess I guess I pushed the right uh, the wrong button. So it's remove app, not installing app. So, <laughs> so I will re uh, keep removing all these uh, apps and all that. So just remove all the applications. Um, after you remove the applications, then you can start the installation process. And then the file. So after you remove everything, your uh, nano should show only settings. That means it's empty. So we can go ahead and install the firmware right now. So we'll go ahead and install. So make sure uh, there's an identifier 2E88F573. Uh, that is the identifier. Make sure it matches. So in the instruction, it also tell you as well. So this is also the identifier. And then uh, they will ask you to, to confirm the identifier. If you will go to this screen to confirm the identifier, you just uh, push the right button and confirm. Unfortunately, I thought I saved the second half of the video. I actually I did not. So right now I have to redo the second half of the video. So um, I get to the point uh, which is identifier. I confirm with the identifier uh, with my ledger. After that, you put in your pin code. Um, after the pin code, it will say MCU firmware is outdated. Then here, this step is pretty critical. You. They will ask you to uh, un unplug and replug the device again. To do that, you have to hold the left button. So the left button is the one that is connected to your computer. It's the is a connector connected to your computer. So you hold the left button, unplug the device, and then plug that back again. So you hold it until you see bootloader. Once you once you see bootloader, you can release the button. Then it will say uh, restore MCU, and then it will say update in your ledger, and then it will say uh, installing the uh, firmware. So during this process, do not unplug uh, your ledger, otherwise your ledger may not be usable. Right now we are doing a firmware upgrade, so. The whole process sometimes is confusing because they will ask you to connect the device. So do not do that. The only time you unplug and plug the device is um, 
when you go to this step that when you see the MCU firmware is outdated, then you do the unplug and replug um, steps, but then you have to hold the left button when you unplug and replug your device. So after that, you go through all this step, update, and then install firmware. Even though during uh, the process, they may they will you will see the screen. Um, this one, ignore that. Okay, just keep going. So don't unplug anything. So it's just confusing because uh, the uh, instruction on the screen and everything. Just follow the instruction, and then it will be processing. During this installing firm, firmware, it may take longer, it may take 5 minutes or it may take 3 minutes. For me, it just takes 3 minutes. And uh, I also, uh, the first ledger that I update, I was stuck in this step, update. And also on the screen, it should say unable to install OS updater. So it fails, the first ledger that I did. Uh, the reason is because uh, I think at the time the server uh, are very busy and cannot be synchronized or anything. If this happened, you unplug the ledger. Uh, you first you close off the ledger manager, then you unplug the ledger. After that, you reopen the ledger manager, then you hold the left button and then plug it in again. You hold the left button and see until you see bootloader. So this screen. When you see the bootloader screen, then you can release the button. Then you can go through this all this step again. So during the process, they may you you may see the screen uh, to connect the device. Just ignore that. The only time you unplug that is when you see the MCU uh, firmware is outdated. Then you do this unplug and replug. But during that process, you have to hold the left button while you're doing that. So after that, this is the only time you uh, remove, uh, un unplug and replug. After that, there's no unplug. Everything has to be plugged in and just wait for them to processing. After the processing is finished, then it will enter a pin code. So you enter the pin code again. Then once you enter the pin code, you can go to settings. You hold, um, you push the button settings both buttons and then you go to device you push the both buttons again and then you see the firmware you push both buttons again you see the firmware the firmware uh, then you see a secure, secure element 1.4.1 and then you see the MCU is 1.5 it's not 1.4 then you go ahead and reinstall all this uh, coin again so I try to install I think I can install up to 12 coins so depending on what coins you are installing, so as I mentioned earlier, that uh, if you go, oops, if you go to Reddit, depending on what coins you are at, if they are on different code base, for example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Neo, then you, uh, then it will take up to you can only limit to four to five apps. But if the uh, if they are clones of the Bitcoin blockchain, uh, like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Go. Uh, Litecoin, all this, I like Pivx, um, Digibyte, then you can do up to probably 10 to 12 coins, sometimes 18 coins. As far as um, my installation, I can go only up to uh, 12 coins for my ledger. So this is the uh, how you update the firmware. Um, so if you encounter problem, uh, it, it may be the network is busy or something, don't freak out. So as long as we follow the process and um, the first ledger that I update, I have so many problems. Uh, I try to unplug it. I close the ledger manager and then I unplug the device and reopen the ledger manager and then I plug it in again. I tried more than three times, it doesn't work. So don't waste your time. If you try three times, it doesn't work. That's mean the server is busy. Just wait a few hours, try some other time and then do the update. So this is my takes on this uh, update. Uh, sometimes the instruction, although this seems to be clear, so sometimes we encounter some problem that throws you off. But uh, just be careful. So um, if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, be sure to subscribe my channel so you can stay up to date of the uh, ICO and also free airdrop.
I also have uh, some videos about ICO, uh, current ICO and upcoming ICO. I'm not a financial advisor. Please use your due diligence to invest your money. Uh, investing ICO has inherent new hills. Uh, use your due diligence. Uh, remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace.